Police officers of the disbanded DCI Special Services Unit who were arrested in connection with the abduction, abduction of two Indian nationals and their taxi driver on July 23rd will remain in custody for two days pending a ruling on an application filed by the Internal Affairs Unit requesting the court to hold them for 30 days pending investigations. The application has, however, been objected to by lawyers representing the accused, Peter Mude, Francis Ndonye, John Kamau, and Joseph Mbogwa. The accused argued that the unit lacks the mandate in law to make such an application in court, a matter that the court is expected to rule on on Wednesday. Meanwhile, in an affidavit filed before the court, the Internal Affairs Unit says it faced interference and threats to life from public servants, including police officers. Arrange them properly. Peter Mudhe, Francis Ndonye, John Kamau and Joseph Mbugwa Police officers formerly of the DCI disbanded Special Service Unit appeared before Kahawa Senior Chief Magistrate Diana Mochache. The four who were accused of being involved in the abduction of the two Indian nationals, Mohammed Zaid Sami, Zulfika Ahmed Khan and their taxi driver Nicodemus Mwange were however not charged after the prosecution filed an application to have them detained for 30 days pending investigations into the incident. Their own investigation power. The suspects through their lawyers led by Dansa Nomari objected to the application arguing that the internal affairs unit is not mandated in law to prepare and file a miscellaneous application before a court of law to detain suspects and that its mandate is limited to probing in discipline cases involving police officers and recommending disciplinary action. You honor the authorities that have been developed by the superior courts that recognizes internal affairs unit as a unit within the National Police Service and capable of investigating misconduct and criminal activities of police officers. The internal affairs unit of the National Police Service Commission is purporting to appear before you on matters it does not have jurisdiction. Senior Chief Magistrate Diana Mochache says she will make a determination on whether the application will be admissible or not on Wednesday. The court directed that the officers be detained at Kileleshwa, Kilimani and Capitol Hill police stations where they were taken to after their arrest at Internal Affairs Unit last Friday. This court has a record. As they four await the court ruling on Wednesday, preliminary investigations contained in the affidavit filed in court has placed the four suspects at the scene of crime and the possible location where the bodies of the three missing men could have been dumped at Abadea National Park. Investigations show that Peter Mude was the operations commander in the planning and overseeing the abductions of Zaid, Khan and Mwange and that he was in contact with the abductions teams before, during and after they were intercepted at the Southern Bypass Interchange at Ole Sereni. He was also in communication with other unidentified persons who were briefed on the progress of the operation. Preliminary investigations also revealed that Francis Ndonye was the driver of one of the Subarus that intercepted the vehicle the trio was using, while John Kamau is believed to be the driver of the vehicle that took their bodies to Abadea Forest, where they were dumped. The other suspect, Joseph Kamau, is believed to be part of the team that abducted the victims on the fateful night. Investigations also show that it was a multi-agency operation between the DCI and other security agencies. In the application, the Internal Affairs Unit has indicated that they were yet to forensically examine the suspect's phones, clothes and other items recovered at Abadea National Park. Investigative agency is one, prosecution team is one. The unit has also expressed concerns that it has faced interference and threats to life from serving public servants, including police officers. The Internal Affairs Unit also says that the complex investigations will take more time as it needs collaboration with other government agencies, including India, where Zaid and Khan held from. 